back again for a new vlog uh, in the course Introduction to Web Programming. Uh, this vlog will be a uh, combined vlog for last week, uh, week 39, and this week, week 40. Week 40 is this examination week for us in Kalmar because we have a big course that has their oral, hear oral hearings this week. Uh, so my schedule is a little bit off this week. Uh, I will be quite busy uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, basically, with examinations. And in this course, uh, examinations are coming up. We have examinations in this course next week. Uh, and that means that it's now uh, time to get started with the uh, 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 the second assignment in the course, if you haven't already. Uh, you find it whoop, under uh, part two, examination. Um, and the goal of this uh, examination assignment is to, to write a simple quiz, quiz application, where the user uh, of the application will be presented with questions and the user should be able to answer those questions uh, and get a response if this was a correct answer or a false answer. If the answer was correct, uh, the user will be given a new question. Uh, if it was false, the application will just end. Um, if the uh, user managed to get through the whole application, you should the user should be presented with a high score list uh, with the amount of seconds that uh, is the fastest times. Uh, I think it's in order the first 10 or something like that. Uh, it probably says in the requirements. Um, if it is a requir requirement, I thought so at least. Yeah, web store to, sh to show store a high score list with the five fastest total times. Um, so, uh, what is important with this assignment is that the questions are predefined. We have written all the questions, they are on a server, and the server is found on this address. So, so your application is supposed to communicate with that server to get the question. Uh, uh, together with the question you will get alternatives uh, for instance, uh, uh, alternatives, alternative answers that, that the user should be able to pick from a list or, or a radio buttons or, or whatever. Uh, or in some cases the user is supposed to write in free text uh, the answer and send that back. Uh, you should do this asynchronously, uh, so the communication with the server should be asynchronously, uh, preferably using the XML HTTP request object, or even better, using, well, oh, where are we? Uh, request tip. Uh, using XML HTTP request object, or even better, the fetch API, uh, which is a more modern approach of, of of uh, um, making asynchronous communication calls. Um, just a quick note, if you're using the XML HTTP request object, uh, standard.js will require you to use the window, the prefix window, window.xml HTTP request object. Since the XML HTTP uh, request object is, on the, is, is a method on the window object, you're not supposed to be, need to write window dot. However, the standard wants you to, to explicitly say that this is a method of the window object. So try to, to, to always do that with those kind of, of methods that are global. So there is no need to, to like include a library to do the asynchronous communication. We have that built into the browser. Uh, be, be sure to, to watch the async programming lecture though, because I will talk about those things in that one. Uh, get started uh, right away. Uh, it, it, it could be a little bit tricky, especially with asynchronous parts and using a, a sync await or, or promises or, or however you want to, 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 to proceed. Uh, 
the due date is uh, October 9th at 7.30. That is the same day as the oral hearings. Uh, the oral hearings, hearings is on Wednesday next week. Uh, I will go to Växjö probably together with someone else maybe uh, to be as Gidl Anderson Gidlund will also be in Växjö uh, and there will be options to, to also have the oral hearings over Slack and, and uh, webcam and a microphone um, because all teachers will not be able to go to, to Växjö that, uh, that Wednesday. Uh, there will be a booking, uh, it will show up down here. Uh, I will open that uh, probably Monday, uh, so you can book your time slot. Uh, even if you're a campus student, please feel free to, to book the distance uh, exam slot. That is totally fine. As long as you have a webcam on your computer, you can use that uh, as well. Uh, the oral hearing says half an hour per, per student. Uh, we meet up uh, in uh, house B, I think it is in Växjö. I will give you instructions on that. It will be right here on the page. Uh, we will go get you in the lobby and we will uh, go into a conference room and we, we will start asking you questions on the theory part of, of the course. Uh, and after that, we will have a look at your code and you need to be able to, to explain the code for us and show, 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 you, show us what you have done and we will ask you questions about that as well. Uh, it's the same procedure at distance. However, on distance, instead of being in the lobby, you will just write your username in the Slack room and we will uh, call you using Slack instead. Um, the, the questions, uh, wh what type of questions do we have? Uh, we will have a peer instruction tomorrow. Uh, I can see now that all the questions are live. They will not be when this is released. I will remove them uh, and I will probably change some of the questions from t for tomorrow. But on the peer instruction uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, we will meet up in the D1136. If you are on a distance, if you are a distance student, you could watch this on YouTube. However, I would recommend everybody to be in the classroom. Uh, you need a computer or a smartphone uh, being able to, to like run a web application. Um, and you will have your computer or smartphone, you will be presented with options and you will vote on, on those options. Uh, and um, this is uh, something that we have done uh, f for a couple of years and it would be quite a good preparation for the oral hearings because the same type of questions that is on the peer instruction will be on the oral hearing. So you will get a good feeling of what kind of questions will, will appear on the oral hearing. See this as like a, 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 a pre-written, pre uh, when I had written exams the teacher often had like a pre pre-exam where we could meet in the classroom and the, the teacher will show us uh, example questions from, from old written exams. Uh, this is kind of the same thing, uh, but more interactive. So please show up Wednesday 13.15 in D1136 or on YouTube. Um, that is probably all I need to say today. Um, if you have questions, please feel free to ask them in Slack and I'll see you tomorrow.